Hi everyone. For this video, I am going to share my personal reflection on two artwork pieces that I've done. I have done a video in the past similar to this one. So for those of you who have, have seen that video, um, this video is pretty similar, but this gets more into depth of why I think these two artwork pieces that I've done are really good. Um, so let me get started. This is a special portfolio website video that I'm making here. Um, so for those of you who are interested in seeing my portfolio website eventually, uh, well, you're probably going to see this video on that website. Um, so I call this, uh, this is a pen and ink uh, scratchboard illustration that I did in my, if I can show you this here, for my drawing for illustration class uh, back in 2010, I think. Um, took it with John Andrews, a really good illustrator. Uh, he teaches illustration at Madison Area Technical College. Um, uh, he really liked this illustration a lot, too. Um, the assignment was to do a something that represented summer, you know, like what makes summer fun. And so what I did is it was a combination of flowers, um, famous music, and, you know, just um, getting together with friends. So these are kind of... Three fr friend flower people, um, or three flower friends, I should say. Um, and what I did was I took that sketch and I transferred it using graphite transfer sheet onto this clayboard here. And I, uh, from there, I made it a pen and ink illustration. And what makes it a scratchboard illustration is not only is this done on clayboard, which is a scratchboard, uh, but using what you see here in the shirt is actually scratches from a scratching knife. And um, I was able to get kind of these uh, this effect on the shirts. Uh, so like here's kind of like a shiny disco shirt from the 70s for this character. Um, yeah, I do believe I did some scratching in here for this one. Uh, this is kind of like a darker, um, I think the, the band name was the Tramps back in the day. Uh, so that's kind of what that shirt's supposed to represent. Um, and same thing with this one. This is based off another disco band for the illustration. And I do feel scratch marks in here. Uh, so yes, I did do some scratching for that shirt as well. Um, for the shadows here, I did, um, I did some more scratching into here to get into the shadow effect. So it's not, doesn't feel too much like the pants or the hair or anything else. Gives it more of the shadow look. Um, and even on the ground here, I did some scratch marks to kind of almost kind of represent a wooden floor in a way. So yeah, it's it's not only a what I feel is a really good illustration, but it's kind of an effect illustration in a way too. I've done some effects when you actually go up and touch it, you're like wow, that does feel like hair, or wow, that does feel like a wooden floor. My instructor also likes the fact that he had an interesting composition. Uh, there's some overlap going on. Uh, I feel the composition of the piece is very. Um, yeah, that's better. Uh, the composition of the piece is pretty well balanced. Um, it's, you know, it's not the greatest balanced illustration probably out there, but it's it's just a really good example of, you know, what's what's a fun illustration that's well balanced, has well good composition, has interesting, you know, outfits for these characters. You know, just I played around with, you know, things you see in characters in a cartoon, and I applied it to this summer illustration for... This class that I did. Um, so I really thought that this piece was really good. Um, I'm actually hoping to use it in my portfolio eventually or possibly even redo it just you know to make it look better and to make me look better as a graphic designer and you know so it becomes a better illustration. Um, this is kind of my own personal logo. Um, I'm hoping that I won't be freelancing. I'm hoping that I'll get hired somewhere to do actual work for actual clients. But if I did do the freelancing route at some point, um, I would really want this to be my kind of my own personal logo for my freelancing. Um, I chose dark mask designs because uh, I'm really big into like hero illustrations, um, like really fun logos that incorporate things you would see. Um, like I'm being into like the PDQ logo and the, the Michelin logo because um, they're able to create like characters or they have an interesting typeface or the type is stylized enough that it represents what their business is and they they just make it fun. Um, 
So I kind of chose, uh, I did do this in Illustrator, by the way. I think this is this is my on my portfolio site, if you're on the site watching this. Um, so I kind of, uh, when I did this illustration back in the day, the sketch, um, I, I was playing around with the dark mask type, and um, I think I did choose Birch STD as the actual type for Illustrator. Um, but for here, uh, it, I just kind of played around with it, and it, it represented a dark lettering type. Uh, so that's why I did it the way I did. Um, the actual type for the Illustrator was a lot different than the designs type. I do, I think I used Medium Gothic Bank, I believe, for the type. This one was just kind of, you know, what will make this one more more different and more interesting, but it'll kind of fit the illustration, so I was kind of playing around with that. Um, and, of course, the Dark Mask illustration itself for the logo. Um like I said, I'm big into hero illustrations and, you know, interesting characters that you might see in a graphic novel. And I kind of have my own style. I've kind of noticed that I have, like, you know, big heads on small bodies. So kind of a bobblehead illustration style, I guess. Um, so, yeah, I really think that these two pieces are really good. Um, I'm hoping to work them into my portfolio somehow. Um, I am planning on having both of these as photos on my portfolio site. Um, so for those of you who are interested, just let me know if you want to see more of my artwork. And um, I hope my art reflection was detailed enough to let you know why I did what I did with some of these uh, pieces of artwork.